everybody. Welcome in to another edition of the BJ Brooks Show. And we will obviously want to thank Ryan Morton uh, at Canopy Realty for his sponsorship of this show and many other things we do. Uh, we love Ryan. He's one of my good friends. And uh, if you guys are in the market to buy a house, looking to sell a house, anything to do with real estate, uh, get in touch with me. I'll get you in touch with Ryan at Canopy Realty, and he'll take care of you 100%. Um, now, BJ, you had a you knew you had a rivalry game last week. It was going to be a tough game. You knew going in. Uh, anytime you see a schedule and you see the word Boaz and the word Sardis across from it, you know it's going to be a big time rivalry game. Uh, you guys come up a little bit short in that game last week, but just take us back to last Friday night and, and what all transpired. Yeah, you know, so uh, we did. We, we lost 35 21 was the final. Um, you know, coming in was two really high scoring offenses, so everybody had kind of been building up the offenses. They thought it was going to be some kind of 60 to 60 game, and you know, really and truly, both defenses I thought really played surprised everybody. Uh, you know, it was a defensive struggle early on, and then you know, that they scored one on us late, but uh, you know, we camped a little bit short, didn't get the job done. You know, that's my fault as the head coach, it's my responsibility, and we weren't able to pull it out. And uh, you know, they did a good job, and their players did good, and I got. <laughs> like all right here, so but uh, you know, came up a little short in on the stick, and you know, like I said, in this area, it's tough, so you got to turn and, and rebound quick because you got gunners will coming in here, and they're a really good football team. If we re round the clock, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, and you looked at Gunnersville, and you're sitting there and you're thinking, man, these guys are just coasting to this region championship. Yeah. Well, all that's changed with their loss on last week yeah. to, to ARAB, and now we could potentially, you and I talked about it off the, off the field or off the uh, camera here. We could potentially have a three-way tie for first and then a three-way tie to see who finishes third and fourth. Yeah. So there's a lot of games to be played, a lot of movement here in this region, and it's all going to be decided this Friday night. Um, the scenarios that we looked at, you guys could actually still go to the playoffs, but you have to have Douglas uh, beat Boaz, correct? Correct. And then Arab. Could, could still win the region, but they would have – I mean, the Gunners will, could still win the region, but it looks like they're going to have to have some help from Morris Hill. They'd have to defeat you. So there's so many scenarios that's got to play out. But I know you don't care about that. I know what you care about is winning the football game. Yeah. But um, how do you keep your guys focused with playoff talk and all these different things going on? And You know, like that's why I, I address the team Sunday. You know, I mean, anytime you lose a game, it's hard, especially if you lose to a rival. You know, it, it makes it tough to yeah. everybody here. That grows up at Boaz, they want to be Sardis, and people at Sardis want to be Boaz, and, and you know it's over. You That's lost, right. and you know. And I told the seniors, I don't know how much more time I got with you. I don't That's know right. if it's two weeks with you, or I don't know if it's you know three weeks or four weeks. But all I know is we got today, and you know, and you want to beat Gunners, so we just want to come in and put our best foot forward to make sure we can try to beat them and be competitive. You know, if you um, if you could say a message to these seniors for what they've done for you here, you know, building the foundation for the future here at Sarnas. You've, you've changed the mindset. I mean, you know, you guys have done a lot of good things. This I mean, this building we're sitting in even looks different. I mean, you've done a lot of good things. What would you like to say to those seniors? Just thank you, and I appreciate them. Yeah. And I love them. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's all about the foundation you built, and and they've done a great job here. They've, they've won as many games this year as they have their entire career here. Uh, just so far, that's incredible, you know, and, and we still got you know some more games to play. Hopefully, we got more than two. Yeah, uh, but but either way, um, you know, I just can't thank them enough just for the hard work and being bought in and just doing the things that they've been asked to do. And uh, I just love them. Yeah, dude, that's awesome, man. They, I'm, I know they're proud of you and that, the community too. That uh, yeah, I've been to two games of yours live in person and. Both times I was here, you know, I had to park in the North 40, so I almost had to park in Boaz, it seemed like, because, uh, I mean, it was packed. Just seeing that, seeing the tailgates and uh, the, the the new look of the uniforms, the, the field house, all that, what's it been like for B.J. Brooks since you've been a part of Sardis so far? Uh, you know, it's, it's very time-consuming. You're, you're very, very busy. You know, being an assistant coach for so long, there's just so many things that, not that you don't think are important because you know they're important, but just when you're wearing the shoe and you have to make those decisions, you know, gotcha. it's even more important. I would say it's very, very time consuming. Um, you know, and just everything kind of comes back to you. You know, your your name's on everything. That's correct. Uh, 
whether you really want it to be or not, sometimes it is. And so, you know, you just got to be able to take that and take responsibility and accountability that, that it's on you. And um, that can be good or that can be bad. You know, you're winning a lot. Everything's going good. And there's bragging, you know, or so, that we love this. But then there's also people that don't like certain things or things that need to change. And that's stuff that you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, well, we got to fix this. Yeah, and that's uh that's always uh whether we like it or not, it always comes back to the shoulders of the head coach. Yeah. That's why when I see um, you know, coaches that are struggling, uh, we see it throughout the season. Great guys, even great coaches, they may not have the guys that year. So uh at average Joe's we try our best not to pile on because it's so easy for people yeah. to take shots, people when they're losing, we actually try to build them up. So um because, you know, at the end of the day, they're human too. People have got to realize that. So, oh, yeah. um, let's get into this week's game. I'm not going to keep you because I've been out here all day talking to you already. But you, you know, you got a tough opponent this week in Gunnersville, and their coach Reese does a really good job with them. And uh, I think Arab showed last week that they do bleed, uh, like the Russian in Rocky Four. Uh, you didn't think going into that fight that he did bleed, but Rocky proved that he did bleed, so he was a human. But when when you seen uh, what you, I know you've watched film on Arab, yeah. what were some of the things uh, they were able to do against them that was successful? You know, I I was joking around. I said, you know, arguably the best two teams in our region. You know, we talked about our region being so close, potentially having you know a three way tie for first and a three way tie for fourth. This region is just it's very competitive from top to bottom. If mm-hmm. you if you don't show up one week, you get beat. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know and. Arab showed that last week, That's you know, right. with, with Gunnersville. That's right. Um, you know, Boaz was beneath us in the standings. They showed that to us last week. You don't show up, you know, you can lose. I think we've just been lucky enough, sarcasm, that, you know, we get to play Scottsboro after they got beat by Gunnersville when everybody was talking about them. And now this week we get to play Gunnersville, you know, after they lost. Right. So they're going to come in ready to play. You know, Gunnersville's always good. Yeah. They're always very well coached. They're very disciplined. Uh, they always have good players. There's a reason why they're one of the top. They got the top 20 most wins in Alabama high school football history. You know, a lot of people probably don't know that, but they have been good for a very, very long time. That's correct. Uh, you know, their quarterback's really good. All their receivers are probably six three plus, and they got 75 on the offensive line. He's an absolute animal. He's he plays with great leverage. Um, defensively, number 10. I mean, he might be the best linebacker we played all year. They're really good. Number three, one of their strong safeties. I mean, they have a lot, a lot of good players, and, and they're very well coached. They're, they're very disciplined. Yeah, they're so. Yeah, they're. Uh, there's a reason why they just lost their first game and they've been in the top ten all year. Yeah, yeah, they were six going into last yeah. week's poll. Yeah, it's good. Um, what are your keys to the game? What are some of the things that you know Sardis has to do to uh, to get in there and stay in this game and have a chance to win? Yeah, I think always you got to be physical. You know, I think that was you know Arab too. I mean, I, I, Coach Osmond was my coach. You know. Usually the team that's most physical has a chance to win it. And if you're able to run the football and you're able to protect the football. That's um, the other portion. <laughs> it is, you know, and uh, I thought Arab did a good job of that last week. And Gunners have done a great job of that basically every game. You know, they just came a little short on that one. Uh, but, you know, that's what I always tell our guys is we got to be most physical team and you got to win the turnover battle. That's right. Especially against a team like that. It's oh, yeah. You can't give them solid. a lot of opportunities and you squander them away or they'll make you pay. And you definitely can't lose the turnover battle. Oh, no. Now, that's a recipe for, 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 sure. for disaster. Well, BJ, I appreciate you sitting in with us. Uh, I've talked your head off off the camera, so we're going to shut this episode down and we'll be back here next week for another edition of the BJ Brooks Show. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Come see us.